Hello, fellow crafters. This is Angela Holt. Um, I wanted to show you how I made this tag, and um, this is my first mini kit that I will be offering in my store. Um, this is a vintage shabby chic um, tag. You will get everything um, in your kit to make this, and uh, the kit is $6.99 plus shipping, and it's perfect for Mother's Day. Or you can put it on a co uh, in a mini album. You can put it on the layout. It's a very beautiful tag, and I really, really enjoyed making it. So I'm going to take you through the process of how to make this tag. So when you do get your kit, you can reference this video and uh, put it together. Okay. So first things first, um, I used the tags from Tim Holt. Now I have my whole table here. You will not believe it. It is completely just covered. So you're going to use these tags here. And uh, what's the size? Six and one fourth by three and one eighth. That's a perfect size tag. Some people like to work with the larger ones, which I will get into that in later kits, but right now I want it to work with this one. Okay, so the first thing I did was, is I put my tag onto a piece of chipboard. Now, you can use any size chipboard. You can use scraps in your chipboard, um, but you will have to have a piece of chipboard. And uh, that will not be in the kit because it's, ever, you know, you should be able to get a piece of chipboard off of the back of a paper pack or wherever if you need the chipboard. And all this is is for stability and it's to help hold the, you know, the weight of the, all of the embellishments on here. Now what I did to adhere this was I used Mod Podge and I'm going to do that. Okay, you're just going to apply it to the back of the tag. I really, really, really enjoy mini kits um, because, one, you're introduced to a lot of cool products to play with. Two, it's not as daunting as a full-fledged um, project. And three, they can be used on so many things so like I said this tag can be used in a mini book it can be used just about anywhere you want to put a tag it would be beautiful to make a card and have this tag in it for Mother's Day or as a, a gift so that would be awesome All right, now what I'm doing is cutting this out of the chipboard. I think I got the toughest piece of chipboard in my, I don't know where I got that. Well, that's hard. That is some tough chipboard. Okay, now what I did was, is I just took um, a cream colored, uh, paint. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Let's see. No, I didn't. I used gesso. I'm sorry. I used gesso. I had to look at my tag. Okay. So, I'm putting gesso over the tag. I love gesso. It just, it's like a happy medium. It makes everything so beautiful when you want it to. So, just paint over that with your gesso. Oh, I got little hairs from the brush. One coat should be enough, but you can apply two, and I'm going to uh, just leave it at one coat because it, it should cover rather well. 
I hate when I get stuff in my well. Okay. There we go. Alright. Of course you'll want to hit that with almost had a catastrophe right there. Um, of course you want to hit that with your heat gun. So I'm going to set it aside for a moment and then prepare my butterfly. Um, this butterfly is a cutout and it will come in your kit. And all I did was, that's where I used the cream colored paint. Yep. Yep. Alright, so just get you a little bit of cream colored paint here. And it's printed on a uh, cut out with a piece of cardstock, so it's no special um, pipe paper. It will hold the paint very well. Okay. Now, you're going to lift this off so it doesn't stick to your table, but this is a non-stick table. And you're going to get out a brown mist. Now, that could be any mist that you want to use. It could be Lindy's, Tattered Angels, Spritz, whichever ones you want to use. And I'm using uh, one that's called, um, by Lindy's. It's called, it's their Moon Shadow Mist, Jolly Roger Red. And all this is going to do is um, give it a vintage look. And you'll want to take your brush back out. Okay, you're just going to spray it like that. And then you're going to brush in one direction all the way across. Okay, and there you go. That's all you do to your butterfly. And then if you want, like me, I love the little blips here and there. I am using uh, Dalma Salazar's Fairy Dust Glitter. And this one's called Praleys and Cream. It is a brownish glitter. You can use white, you can use whatever, or you don't have to use glitter at all. Um, the option is yours. So, right now, the things that you would need extra in your, uh, that do not come in a kit is some uh, mist for your butterfly, some cream paint, some gesso, and a piece of card, uh, card um, stock or chipboard that's heavy. All right, now we're going to set that aside to dry. Now we're going to go back to our tag and we're going to hit it with a heat gun. Now what I've done was is I took a makeup sponge and I got the ink pad Victorian Velvet uh, Distress Ink uh, because it matched the pink uh, motif that I wanted to do. And what I've done was is I've rubbed it on but first I'm just going to plather it on like this. Okay. Now go back with your sponge and pull that color towards the middle like this. You want to pull it towards the middle. Okay, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Ah! I can't hold on to nothing. Okay. Alright, 
and you're going to pull it towards the middle. And as you can see, when you do that, when you pull it towards the middle, can you see that variegated look there? Is that not cool or what? So, make a sponge and some ink and just pull that color towards the middle and it gives you that awesome um, look to it. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to get do is we're going to take the Venice lace and we're going to put it along the bottom here. Now, in your kit, you will get a piece of the pink Venice lace. Okay? And what I'm going to do is make sure that there are three dangles hanging in the front. So you will get enough to have the, for the tag. Got a piece like that. Okay. Make sure you glue it on the right spot. Um, use your hot glue. I'm using a detailed glue gun when it wants to work. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just to tack the top down like that. Now we're going to trim. this off like so there you go and you're just going to wrap that piece of lace over like that There you go. And if you see any sprigglies, you can clip them off as well. Like that. Okay, that's pretty. Now the next thing you're going to get in your kit is you're going to get a beaded rhinestone and pearl piece of trim, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's going to go along the top here. Okay, so now I will tell you I'm only making a number of, of a certain number of these kits. So once they're gone, they're gone. All right, just lay that across there. and snip off what you don't need. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do, let me set this over here, is we're going to get our image of the vintage girl. Now this is what your image will come like in your kit and we're going to cut her out because we want to give her a lot of detail and make her pop out from the page. Okay? So I'm going to cut this out.
now we have her cut out. Now we're going to build our base. Now what we're going to use is a piece of burlap fabric. Um, and you will get this in your kit as well. And we're just going to use a little square. It doesn't have to be perfect on the cut because you're going to pull some of the fibers away to make it fray. That's what I like about burlap. It's easy to do that. And we're going to put it on the tag at an angle. If you want, you can trim off just a little bit there. And lay that down. Okay, next, what we're going to use is some lovely, lovely, lovely lace. Um, now here. get in my new scrap room ladies and gents I really really do because okay that's a piece we gotta use because I miss it okay here it is all right this is a beautiful piece of embroidered lace and you're gonna get a piece of it perfect for the size of the kit so I'm gonna snip off right here like that. You'll get that in your kit. Now, you see how this has the tool on one side? Now that's how it's going to come to you, but you're going to, all you're going to do is just trim away that tool on one side. Just along the scallops of this design. Okay, there you go. And you're just going to lay it right down the middle. like that and adhere it down. I only adhered mine on the bottom and along the top. I pulled it taut and I only added adhesive along the top there. And then I trimmed off any little sprigglies that there were. There you go. Now, now we're going to add our wings, our butterfly. It should be dry, which is perfect. You want to kind of, if you want to, while it's still kind of wet a little bit, if it's still kind of, you know, dampy or not wet, but semi-wet, you want to kind of give it some bend to it and then you're going to adhere this down right down in the middle of the tag just like that okay and then all I done was is I just kind of attached the um, the wings to the tag so that it stays stable you know just kind of do it like that now we're going to add our girl right over that like that and you're going to adhere her the same way kind of press down I'm going to press these down 
you just have to play with your butterfly like that okay now we're going to adhere her down using hot glue nothing fancy again uh, I'm only making a certain number of these so of these kits and you get this exclusive download um, you will get a link to the download for you to print out and you can always use her on other projects okay so and the link will be in your kit to copy and paste and put in your uh, browser okay now we're going to dress up her dress a little bit now this is a beautiful um, crocheted lace and you're going to get a little sprig of it so that you can embellish the bottom of her dress you're going to get a little piece like that and we're going to put a little bit of adhesive along the bottom here Okay. And you're just going to adhere that down like that. Also in your kit, you're going to get a little piece of ribbon to make a bow. And you're going to make a tiny bow. Now, if you don't if you're not good at making two tiny bows and want to do a different Okay, just make your bow like that. Try to make your tails as even as you can. Snip off the excess. Okay. And we're going to put it right here on her little dress okay next what we're going to do is we're going to add four large pearls down here at the bottom you will get those as well okay huh? I just glued it to my shirt Okay. This is turning out beautiful. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two little pink pearls in the centers of the flowers. Okay, so you'll get those two. And we're going to add one in the center of the bow. So you're going to get three mini pearls. Okay. So when you open your kit, make sure that you open them gently so that you can see everything. Now I'm going to use my pickup stick here. I have a little adhesive. Put it down. A little adhesive. 
hate when they don't want to rain. Alright. Okay, and we're going to add one right there in the middle of her dress. That is so precious. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add a flower motif up here. Now, in your kit, you're going to get a variety of things. You're going to get three leaves. And I like to go ahead and put my leaves down as my base. And what I'm doing here, these are larger leaves, but I want to kind of give them some character. So I put a little glue along the base of the leaf, and then I squeeze it like that. And that kind of gives it a realistic um, squishy look and it lays beautifully so you're just going to put some adhesive like that we're going to do the other two the same way we're going to use a little adhesive like that We're going to put one right, right there. We're going to do one more. I really like my Sure Bonder um, detailed glue gun for projects like this. It's awesome. Alright, and then we're going to put one kind of right there. That works. All right. Now we're going to use in your kit. You're going to get a beautiful white rose. And various other ones like little bitty um, pink flowers and little bitty roses. You're going to get a few of those, a few of those. You're going to get some blue ones. Like so. I think a touch of blue would be beautiful in there. You're going to get some pink ones. Just a, you know, an array of them so that. You can have a nice little bouquet at the top of your tag here. Okay. I'm going to snip all these little bases off. Don't throw your little bases away because they make perfect flowers with flower soft. So, don't throw them away. Okay, so now we're going to put one of the little flowers there. We're going to use the larger one. Put it right there. And see, all you're going to do is field. A little arrangement at the top. And you're welcome to color these ever how you want. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Now you're going to take a piece of lace that's provided for you in your kit and you're going to make a bow like so. You're going to make a bow. I 
always try to work my bows to where they're so pretty. Now, I'm going to show you a trick to how to make a double bow. Okay? I made my bow, but I don't want to use any tails on this tag. So, I floated over the tail to the center. And I'm going to glue it. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now, you can have tails on yours. I just prefer not to have any on mine. Now, um, I just want it to make a double bow to put at the top. Let's see here. Okay. Now, there's my bow, my double bow, like that. You can snip off any excess that you see. Alright, now I'm going to add some adhesive. And I'm going to glue it at the very top here. Might have to move some flowers out of the way. Move that down a little bit. So that you can work it in there like that. Okay. Put a little more adhesive. There we go. And lift this up. Snip off any excess that you see. Okay. Now you can add stickles to her flowers if she's holding or anything. And we're also going to add a pink pearl to the center of this. So you're going to get four total pink pearls. Get your picket stick or your tweezers. There we go. Alright, now, one last thing we're going to get is you're going to get um, a word called a door, and you'll get that printed out for you, and I'm going to print mine out. Sorry, ladies. I forgot to print this out. <laughs> Give me a second. My computer wants to be slow. Okay. All right. It's going to print. So, you're going to get everything you see here. And these, this would be beautiful to put on a layout or. I wonder why these curtains. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to get this letter, this word, a door, um, printed out on a piece of paper. It's already going to be in your kit. Uh, for you to apply to your tag, okay? So, I am just going to cut this out. Fussy cut it first, and then I'm going to go back. And this is what you will do when you get yours. Okay? Uh, go back to your ink that you use on your background. And just ink that up. Add a little bit of adhesive. Okay. And you can place it right there. So there you go. Is this not beautiful?
there you go. So this kit is $6.99. It's in my store. You'll find the link down below. Um, I'm only making a certain number of these. And um, so rush over and order your kit because many, many more mini kits are going to be coming to you. And I hope to see a lot of these on some projects. So until next time, ladies, thank you.